letting us everyone know here what the first Lego idea set here will be? Yes, and uh, the first set that we will be going ahead with from this review is the Medieval Blacksmith by Nanuel. Also known as that Clemens. is right. This one right here. Congratulations, Clements. That's right, people. This isn't a clickbait video. This isn't a Photoshop. Lego actually made a castle set. As hard as that is to believe, they finally did it, and I commend them for it. This is the Medieval Blacksmith Shop. It was approved by the Ideas team earlier today. Uh, it's huge, probably the size of a small modular, and it's got several several thousand parts. It will probably be about, I would say in its current form, about $200 retail. And this thing is packed with detail. It was designed for uh, A-Falls, or adult fans of LEGO. It's got a ton of details in it, including realistic Tudor-style wall pieces, which we've never gotten before. We have gotten prefabricated ones back in classic-style sets. We're also going to get some realistic stonework around the bottom of the building and on the chimney, which is something that LEGO's been getting into recently, but since they haven't been making castle sets in almost a decade, we've never gotten a castle set that looks as realistic as this one. Uh, there are also going to be at least a few minifigures in this set, including the blacksmith and his wife. Saw some speculation there might be a knight included as well. That would be great. Um, always down for new heraldry. Uh, there's going to be a horse in this set, maybe in a new color. That would be a huge plus. As well as some goats, which I would love the inclusion of. We've only ever gotten those in a couple of sets, and I don't own any myself. But there are a lot of things going on in this set, and there's a lot to like. The one big drawback here is that this probably guarantees there won't be a castle theme at any point in the near future. This is kind of Lego's way of saying, we're not going to give you anything for a while, but have this. I mean, that's fine. It's better than nothing. We haven't gotten anything in the last few years. And clearly, you know, this is a very good set in its own right. So I, I really can't complain on this particular point. I really like this set. It's going to look nice on my shelf. And the thing is that... I didn't think this set had a chance, to be honest with you. I brushed off the fact that it was up for the Ideas review. I didn't even check in on the Ideas review today. Actually, I forgot that was even happening. But I got a little notification that this set got made. And I was like, there's no way. But maybe third time's the charm. I think there were at least two more medieval blacksmith shops that got rejected before by LEGO. And this is the one they picked. But I do like that they're showing progress in making LEGO Ideas more of what it should be, which is a mix between licenses that wouldn't warrant a full theme such as the Big Bang Theory or Friends, as well as more traditional sets that appeal to, you know, longtime fans like the Pirate set that just got announced a few months ago. This set, hopefully that trend continues and making the balance a bit more even. But again, anyway, this is a great set. I'm going to be picking it up whenever it comes out, probably some point next year I know this is the February review so it takes about a year to get you know shipped and ready to go but anyway thank you guys so much for watching congratulations to Nami Rob on a great design and a great set uh, follow me on Instagram if you aren't already uh, support me on patreon if you want some exclusive content and thank you guys so much for watching